As the Opportunities for Pupil Learning Coordinator at Blanquard, I was brought the idea of the sweet course by Martin Ryan who had been on a course through portal training and had picked up on the fact that we have pupils who were ticking the boxes of what they were talking about really. From there we found out a bit more about it. We decided to focus on the pupils who had low self-esteem, were underachieving in some way or sort of slipping through the net and just deciding they were going to coast along, get some average results and the ones that just didn't want to be here, the disaffected ones. From there we brought through a short list of year 10 and year 11. It was decided we'd have two groups and we then decided on the final candidates for each group based on what they ultimately needed. I think I got chosen to go on the sweet course because I was underachieving and maybe not possibly doing as well as what I could do. I was in another school before, um, but I decided to try marijuana on one day in school. My friends brought it in when we got caught and I got asked to leave. Um, I came here about two years ago and I, because of that I was going for like quite a dark time. I didn't want to do anything. I didn't really want to, I didn't want to show where I was intelligent and what I could do because I didn't want people, I didn't want support of people, I just wanted to be me and I just didn't want to do anything. I used to wait to come to school, I used to wait in the mornings, I used to wait the teachers. Before I didn't really respect my elders, even though I should, but I didn't at all. I used to be horrible to my mum, I didn't used to respect her at all. I'd lose my temper fast. A lot of different things have been happening during school and outside school. About two years ago my parents split up so I found it quite hard to concentrate in school. Outside school I've been arrested maybe three four times. Drinking, behaviour. I've been expelled then for four or five months. With the Atan group, we had some very loud characters, some very intriguing characters. Some of them would slip through the net and were quite shy and retiring, mostly, mostly the boys. And then some very loud girls who were, for some reason or another, not quite fitting in with, with what they wanted to do. So they didn't see the link between school and the real world and afterwards and thought that it was almost a waste of time. Shannon was one of the key, I don't want to do this, why, why do I need to do this, who wanted to drop out of sweet from the beginning. In the beginning of the course, um, I really didn't want to go. I wanted to stop going. And then my teacher just said, if you carry on going, you might enjoy it. And I started to enjoy it more and more. At the beginning, it was like, I was just trying to get out the lessons. And then I was really look, started to really look forward to going. And then when I ended, I was gutted. It was like it got me so far. I just like thought I could go further if it carried on. With the Year 11 group, we had a group that was mostly boys. There were some that had really low self-esteem, some who just didn't see the point of school at all. Others, they were non-attenders. Connor's attendance was one of the main factors he was on the course. And because we knew he could achieve at a higher level than he was achieving. When I first this one, I thought it's just going to be like, it's like a couple of my friends were maybe not, maybe as intelligent as me were on it as well. And I thought it was just going to be for people who were stupid and couldn't do it. But no, it was just like encouraging me to do better. Same was for everyone that showed me how, well, how to focus myself, basically. When I started this week course, my behaviour was just the same. I started it, I walked into the classroom, I thought, what am I doing here? I felt like an idiot. When I was on the street, I was just being funny, like knowing my attitude. Just being funny and make people laugh. Anyway, getting me into trouble. The best part of this week course for me was to find out the different opportunities in life that were available to me. I think sweet taught me that things ain't as bad as I make them seem to be. And I over-exaggerate sometimes and it helped me to realise that things ain't that bad if you give them a chance. Through portal training, basically, it was really easy because they gave you everything and as long as you had the room that they needed for the course, they'd do it all themselves. They'd work for an hour with each group and then go from there. They took them out on trips. 
They organised lots of different activities for them to keep them focused and the changes in the group were incredible. Halfway through when we did the round robin, teachers were generally commenting that there were classroom behaviour, corridor behaviour and attitudes towards the work were not as hostile and aggressive. The sort of maturity that they, they gained from it and the idea that they could take ownership, their understanding of the bigger picture that school has a point and confidence, I think just generally they're happier. Before this week course, I didn't even know if I was going to make sixth form. I didn't even know if I was going to get any GCSEs. The sweet course finished. I've got eight GCSEs. I thought I'd never get GCSEs. And I'm only in year 10. I've hardly started my exams and I've got two already. I've changed so much. Everybody have told me how much I've changed. I'm in science, I've got two A's and a C. And in my RE, I had an A in my mock exam. And at PE, I got the highest level possible you can get. And in my business studies, I've got two A's. I'm glad I did the sweet course. It's made me realise what's right, what's wrong, and all the opportunities that's coming to me, basically, when I leave school. Take part in, in this course, just do it. It's, it's made a massive difference to the pupils, massive difference to the way they behave, the way they appreciate things, the way they now want to learn. Two years ago, things were looking down. Two years on, and things are looking bright for me. I can't wait for my future, and I would recommend a sweet course to anyone. Sweet course proves to me that I can do anything, that anything is possible. Nothing is ever as bad as what you think it's going to be. It's made me think I want to make something of my life. I don't want to just be another doll bum or another alcoholic or another person if you die no one knows about and no one cares about. I actually want to get on with my family, I want to get a tidy job and I want to go somewhere in life and be happy. Mm -hmm.